Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Magic Shine Windbreaker Cycling Sunglasses. A large part of Magic Shine's success as a brand has been their ability to offer affordable and high quality products. We've consistently seen that their bike lights are brighter and offer more features than mainstream brands. In this review, we're going to be looking at Magic Shine's newest Windbreaker Sunglasses, which are one of Magic Shine's first cycling apparel products. As you can see here, we have all three versions. Packaging wise, it's very simple, just a white box, Magic Shine logo, and a lot of the safety and specs printed directly on it. I'll go ahead and take it out of the box and go over those specs. Retail price on this is very affordable. It ranges from $44.99 all the way up to $74.99, depending on which version you choose. These are frameless sunglasses, and they're offered in polarized, photochromic, and standard lens options. They have a impact resistant UV 400 protection, keep you safe in the sun, and lightweight TR90 frame construction. They also have a ventilated design with a very aggressive design language. As you can see here, we have three versions of them. We have the photochromic, we have the classic, the standard version, and the polarized. Each of them have pretty basic packaging. You have this nice zippered box, a little informational pamphlet inside, and then a lot of extra package material just to protect the sunglasses during transportation. So here we can see one of them. I believe this is the standard variation. So with each of them, you get the sunglasses. You get a cleaning cloth that actually, I believe, has the Manshine logo on there. So you can see the Manshine on there. Then you also have a fabric carrying bag, which is really nice. So this is lighter weight. Something you can throw in your pocket to prevent it from getting scratched and the hard case. The other, vari other variations are identical. Each of them have the same box with the logo. They just have the different lens options. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. We have all three variations. The standard version, which comes in at 28 grams. We have the polarized one, which actually has a slightly taller lens. And as a result, it's a little bit heavier at 30 grams. And then we have the polarized variation which is again, 28, so pretty light. Even the lightest pairs of sunglasses on the market are around 20, so you really won't feel 28 at all. Magishine has chosen a frameless shield design to give the windbreaker sunglasses a sporty appearance. You can see you have a highly curved lens, it's almost cylindrical, and then frameless, which means there's no frame connected to the lens. Instead, the temple arms are directly attached to the lens itself, and there's no structure between them. The lens itself is a structure, so you can see very flexible and a lot of nice adjustability, so it can accommodate different face sizes. There's quite a few color scheme and lens options here. There's photochromic, which will actually adjust to the environment, so you can see this will darken or lighten, depending on how much in light is around. You have polarized, which is great for water sports or other type of cycling. And you can actually differentiate this with a slightly taller lens. This is the gold mirror finish, but they have various options. And then you have the classic variation, which is the most affordable, which just has a simple mirror style finish as well. All of them have these little vents in the corner, which are more of a style than actual uh, functionality as they're so far in the corner. And then sharp, aggressive lines, unlike POC, which would be smoother. This is more sporty and you can see more aggressive. There's a lot of color schemes as well. This is the light, this is the matte gray with the silver accent here. And you can see that accent color actually matches the Magic Shine logo. We also have the all black, and then they have tons of color options, white and teal, white and orange. So you can find the one that matches your personality or matches your bike color scheme. You can see these are also very large frames. So the gap from the nose pad to the top is very large. So that means it's very immersive. So when you're wearing this, you can see it really encompasses your entire view. And it's really great for cycling, running, or any high sport, high activity, or high intensity sports. So definitely a nice feature. You can see the temple arms are adjustable. So it's flexible rubber material with this anti-slip rubber coating on the inside, which is also color matched. So you can see very flexible and actually just moves around. And then you can just flex this inward and outward. The nose pad is also adjustable. There's a little wire on the inside, so if you just put pressure on it, you can see it'll move and then hold its form. 
So very easy to adjust. There's no separate nose pads or separate pieces that are often easy to lose. Instead, you just move these around to match your face. So pretty simple design. To be honest, this design, you really could swap any logo on here. You could put Oakley, you could put Smith, and you wouldn't really know. It's not a really polarizing. Instead, it's kind of a somewhat generic and common design, but looks good. And you can definitely wear this on or off the bike. Overall, we're really impressed with the Windbreaker sunglasses, despite having a budget price point. The lenses are crisp and clear. You don't have any distortions, any regularity in the color coding. They also have that oversized style with the frameless frame, so you don't actually have anything blocking your view, and it's very immersive, which is great for cycling. The only downside to the sunglasses is the fact that the color rendering isn't quite as high contrast or bright as you can find in Oakley, Smith, or other higher-end brands. Otherwise, it's using the same lightweight material, and even the photochromic option can react pretty quickly to the environment. So if you're riding mixed conditions, it goes from nearly transparent to all the way up to category three to block out the sun. So pretty impressive for the price. Now let's compare the Windbreaker with other sunglasses on the market. There's quite a few to choose from. Honestly, every design has pretty much been done at this point, but there are some more distinctive options like the Oakley Sutros. You can see it's very similar shield style, but a little more swoopy, so it makes it more distinctive. And this is the Sweep Vent, which has these vents here, which I actually don't like. They sort of block your vision, but they do look cool. So you can see putting them side by side, the Oakley pops more with this bright color scheme. And obviously it has more brand recognition than Magshine, but you can see with the frameless design, you don't have this crossbar or the top bar that sort of inhibit your vision. The other Oakley that's really nice is the Oakley Kato, $300, so quadruple or more in terms of price versus the Magshine. It's definitely more of a fashion statement. It's a one piece design with this swoopy nose that really makes it stand out. Now, this is where really you're paying a premium for the design language and the brand of Oakley versus the Windbreaker, which is much more affordable and functional. The other sort of polarizing design is the Roca Matador. And this is kind of similar gold mirror finish. But what's distinct about the Roca Matador is you have this swoopy design for the temple arms versus the standard straight arm design of the Manshine. So it makes it a little more distinctive. Functionally, it's very similar. And obviously it costs more than the Manshine. As with all the Manshine products, they usually undercut the competitors and have similar quality. The big difference between all these sunglasses though, obviously is the color enhancement. I think something like the Roca and the Oakleys, I think have better and brighter, punchier colors versus the Manshine, which are really hard to capture on camera. The Manshine does a good job at tinting, but it doesn't really enhance the color as much as some other brands like the uh, Bole, Smith, or other ones we've reviewed. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Windbreaker sunglasses. What we like about them is that they have a very affordable price point, so they even cost less than some Oakley or Pock replacement lenses. They also have a frameless design, which means you have a very wide field of view, and that's great for cycling where you really want that immersive experience. You don't want a frame block in your view. Magishine also offers them in a variety of frame colors as well as lens options. So you can get classic, photochromic, or polarized. The main con for these sunglasses is the fact that the color rendering just isn't as vivid or bright as some other brands such as Oakley or Pock. Although there's no distortion, it's just not quite as bright. Taking everything into account would give the Windbreakers a 9.2 out of 10. These are affordable and stylish cycling sunglasses. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.